okay so let's take a look at arrays in gd script so make sure that you have go dot downloaded okay once you download that simply run the exe and create new project if required and edit your project i have added scene with node 2d and also created a new script okay and after that i have also attached that script to my node okay so let's edit the script here you can see two lines here extends node and ready function now what we're going to do is we are going to create an array right okay so first thing we will do is we will create a variable which is going to initiate our array class then a dot append item one then a dot append item two and we can then print our item a zero which is going to print this item one and then a one okay so what we have done so far is we initialized our array class and this variable a will hold the items in our array we appended item one item two with these two statements and in print a0 we'll print this item one because it is in index position zero okay same with second print statement okay now what we'll do is we'll simply run this here you can see item one and two printed okay now what we can do is we can try out one more different way to write an array so var b and this will be contained in the square bracket one two four and eight right so if i want to find the size of this array i can simply use print and then b dot size right and simply move to the next line now there is one more thing we can do we can also output the elements by mentioning its positions so 0 1 2 and let's say print So two and three index positions I want to print out, which is going to be four and eight. So if we run this, it should output four because that's the size of our array. Then four for our second position within array contains value four and then V3, eight, that's another element. Okay. So you get the idea how to create an array, how to find the size of an array, how to append items to an array, and how to print out your individual elements from that array. You can also use for loop to print entire array out within your output. So you get the idea how to create array in GDScript.